So, one thing I've always wanted to know is what is truthfully the best movement ability combo of items in the game in Albion Online if you're trying to move a large distance without using your mount, but also without going into stealth or invisible. So, I've devised a few items here. I'm going to run some tests. I'm using a double bladed staff because the cooldowns seem pretty low. I'm using a royal jacket so I can reduce the cooldowns as much as possible. Spectre hood so I can double dip into the royal jacket's cooldown reduction. Of course, I've got the pork omelet. And uh, here's what I'm doing, okay? From this part of the map, I'm going to run straight up until I hit the wall. And we're going to see how long that takes. So, let's go ahead and get started. And 3, 2, 1, activate. And I'm just using auto... Uh, <laughs> well, I was using auto run on my keyboard. Uh, so, I'm just going to spam right click. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do this. And just see how fast we get there. And time. And now we're going to do the same thing once again, but this time with the blood letter. And I've just got to let my cooldowns, you know, just do their thing. And then we're going to once again run straight up and see how fast we can do it. I'm using uh, I'm using the Q and the W for dash because those are the movement abilities. And then, of course, lunging stab. So basically, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. And three, two, one, let's go. So you can see the cooldowns are pretty fast, but it's not doing really much uh, for my E spell or anything like that. Like, yeah, I, I don't think that's as fast. All right, reviewing the footage, it's really, really close. Let me show you what it looks like from my end, and let me show you how I reviewed the footage, okay? So, uh, this is Adobe Premiere Pro, by the way. Uh, okay, so the bottom clip, or rather the clip on the left here on my screen, yes, I'm still now being online, is the, uh, <laughs> uh, I can't concentrate, Blech. I can't concentrate because people are fighting, let me just scoot away from the sound there, okay, so this is double bladed staff on the left, and this is, um, blood letter on the right, you can see Go. here, hold on, let me zoom out my timeline, okay, look how close it is, like, they pretty much touch down at the exact same time, right? If you zoom it really, 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 really far in, this bottom one here is the double-bladed staff, so it won by maybe millisecond? Like, it, it won by one frame. <laughs> one single frame. Okay, and yes, I would have to do maybe a test where we do longer distance, right? Um, but in this kind of short distance, the distance that I tested was about the distance you're going to have to drag a wisp. L look at it side by side. Here we go. It is, uh... Well, I can't drag the timeline with, with the full screen, but look at this. It is, uh... Oh, you see, the fast. see, now, the, the, uh... It's funny because the blood letter passes the portal a little bit before the double-bladed staff. When, <laughs> when, is the, when does the staff really catch up? Before my E or anything like that, like... Yeah. So, oh, right there. Yeah, look. So, boom. That's... Right here is the point. The double-bladed staff pulls ahead of the uh, blood letter right there with the E spell. Yeah, I, I don't so, think that's... And, and, and then they're neck and neck right here. Look at that. They are... They are like... That is... I don't know. That is too close to call. That is wild to me. That is crazy. Anyway, we, we gotta we gotta test more stuff, so I'm gonna... <laughs> hold on now. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a bunch more stuff here to test. I'm testing Bridled Fury... Bear paws, battle bracers, we're gonna test swords, dual swords, the carving sword. We're gonna try dagger, because it has move speed. Um, and also, uh, the occult staff, because it has also has move speed. So yeah, I'm gonna go test those right now. So the way I do these tests in the, my video editing software is, as soon as my frame changes to where I'm facing upwards, that's whenever I, uh, that's whenever I start the timer, okay? So this is the uh, this is the occult staff, and the way it works is R W is a movement it's a movement increase. Uh, so there you go. That makes me run a little bit faster. The boots, of course, do too. And then of course, time corridor, which you can cast while moving. That's just a really nice little speed buff. Uh, now you, it does run out as soon as you end the time corridor. But the other one would just be shield, which would be useful if you're being attacked. Uh, this one I think has a lot of potential. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try it here. As soon as my cooldowns are ready, I'm going to make sure that I'm facing exactly down. And then we're going to run exactly up. And here we go. Three, two, well, let me eat. 
Gotta make sure that we have the pork omelet active. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Look at this, this is crazy. <laughs> it's It may not be the craziest, but it's, uh, we gotta make sure we're running straight up now. Run through that, and it, it's making okay time, and time, all right. Next up is the Battle Bracers. I believe this is an E-Court favorite. And uh, I think, I'm not sure. I haven't, I've watched him since he switched to, to punching weapons. But, okay, uh, I've just been busy. I honestly have. Okay, so Dragon, Dragon Leap, right? This lets you do a little slide every, like, little four seconds. You can just do another quick slide forward. Then we have Triple Kick. This is just, it just moves you forward pretty quick. And then finally, we have Falcon Smash, which just lets you jump forward, <laughs> like so. So I think this weapon, it's very mobile. It's a lot of fun. Let's see how fast it is. And we're going to compare it to the other clips here. And uh, let's make sure we get in position and wait for our cooldowns. All right, are we ready to go? Three, two, one, let's go. And there we go. Go ahead and do that. And we're running. <laughs> yep. Oh, I, I did an uppercut there. I didn't mean to, but you get the point. We're sliding and time. Okay. Next up is the Bridled Fury. We're going to have to aim this behind us to propel us backwards. Shouldn't be a problem, though. All right. Three, two, one, and begin. Well, it's not the fast. I don't know. I don't I don't think this one's going to go any faster, but, you know, it's the cooldowns are pretty nice. This guy out here is like, what, what the heck is going on? <laughs> he doesn't know what's happening. And time. All right. Next up, we have Bear Paws. Now, you may think that the Q3 ability would be, like, really cool because it propels you forward. However, it's faster just to run forward than it is to cast the three slash. So we're just using W and E on this test. Okay, three, two, one, and begin. That's, I don't think the armor's gonna do much here. Um, yeah, we're just, I mean, it was a nice little speed boost, but I'm not feeling this one, but we got it one more time there. And time. <laughs> Next up, we have a broadsword with the miscaller 8.4. Completely max spec, and we're basically just using Iron Will, and then, well, that's it. Just Iron Will, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if this will do any good, but uh, we're, we're gonna try it. Three, two, one, and begin. Because we can't E anything, right? It's just Iron Will. Let's activate that armor and see if we can get another Iron Will. We're still running, still running. It's decent. It's decent run speed and. Time. <laughs> now we have double swords. This one should be able to beat it. All right, let's get started here. Three, two, one. Uh, whoops. Okay, let's false start. Okay, here we go. Once again. Three, two, one. <laughs> and jump. And what the? What the heck? Armor. Don't bug out. Okay, that. This test might not be the most conclusive because it did bug out there. But uh, we're st we're making way better time. <laughs> Imagine if we hit it and time. If we hit a target, it would be much faster. I feel like that was way faster than Broadsword. Now, car now Carving Sword, okay? Carving Sword, three, two, one, and begin. Ah, it keeps... Three, two, one, and begin. <laughs> there we go. Clean start, we're moving fast. We got our armor ability activated there. And we should get our E and our W back in time, maybe. Oh, time. Damn, that was... I think that was super fast. That is possibly the fastest time. Okay, this is the old E-Court we weapon right here. He knew something none of us did, that this thing is hypermobile. All right, now we are doing Dagger. Dagger has the movement speed on E, so here we go. Facing downward, three, two, one, begin. Yep, let's go. We are moving fast, we're moving. Go ahead and get my armor back, re-trigger that, and it... And is that? Yeah, that's time. <laughs> that was also really fast, and uh, we we got our E back. Let's, I just want to show just the e, like here's the regular run speed. Here's with the E active, so you can see that it's it's a slight little dash. It's not too bad. It's pretty good. It does hurt you when you activate it, but that's fine. I mean, this weapon is hyper mobile. So uh, this was the occult staff test. You can see here that it um, it took a little bit longer to beat. So here is where. These two finished, and then you can see, whoops, okay. an okay time, and yeah. So you can, uh, clearly Occult Staff is out.
And once again here, you can see the, um, what is it, the Bridal Fury did not make it either. It was actually very much slower. I don't need to zoom this out to show you the difference. Let's look at the timeline right here. You can see the this, the second differential. Now here's the Bear Paws. Bear Paws actually did really, really good. Look just how, there's yeah. like, what is this? This is 13 seconds. So this is 13 and like point two seconds. So it is point two seconds slower. So that's still pretty damn good. Bear Paws is very nice. Swords didn't do so good. Swords are two seconds off the current champions, which is Double Bladed Staff and Blood Letter. Now, interesting enough, the Double Bladed Swords was only one second off from... Uh, yeah, Double Swords is one second off Double Bladed Staff and uh, Blood Letter. All right, we have the Carving Sword. It is in, and it is hard to tell. I've got to zoom in the timeline here. Let's see. Oh, no. It's still... Oh, let's see. Okay, 13, uh, 13 seconds and 10 frames. Or... Ooh, that is 0 .0, 0 0.03 seconds of a difference with Carving Sword. That that is that is good enough for me. That is ooh, that is really good. That is so good. And then the fact that you can just queue monsters as you run and gain move speed. I think carving sword is actually better. But we I would have to hit monsters on the way. So I, I think carving sword's the champion right now, to be honest. So this is what it looks this is how close the race is, okay? Uh double bladed staff up here. And then you have uh blood letter, and then this is carving sword, okay? And then I'm gonna do it frame by frame. So, boom, boom. <laughs> so that's, that's again, like one, two frames. One frame, two frame. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. It's like five frames behind on the carving sword. But again, that is without the carving sword's heroic charges. That's just pushing W and then casting E. That is so crazy. Dagger also did really well with a 0.24 second difference from the carving sword. I don't remember if I did battle bracers or not, but here is the test. Uh, let's see, at 13.12, that is when our, um, what is it called, uh, Carving Sword ended, and then at, what is this, what, 3, 3.18, so that is a 0 0.06 second difference between Carving Sword and Battle Bracers, so in my original test, Carving Sword was faster, and that is without the heroic charges, so I think Carving, Stor bleh, Carving Sword is still the mobility champion, um, but Battle Bracer is really good too. Just really, really awesome. All right, let's compare the four of them. At the top left, we have the double bladed. Top right is the blood letter. Bottom left is carving, and bottom right is Battle Bracers. Check them out. Side by side comparison. You can see that the uh, the blood letter pulls ahead here, uh, but that uh, that double bladed staff it catches up here later on, and then carving sword, and then <laughs> there it is. So, um, very, very cool stuff here. You can, you can kind of see where everyone's at at what points. Like, if, if we just rewind a bit, like, here's where the Carving Sword and the Battle Bracers hit the rock on the left. You can see that the Double Bladed is slightly past the rock. And, uh, of course, the Blood Letter is way ahead of the rock. But then, because the, the Double Bladed has that run speed boost, he catch, this is where he passes them, right? Like, if you look at the detail on the ground, you can see, boom, right there. He's about passing them, and uh, yes, they're not all running in the exact same pixel, I know. The tests are a little weird, but these are the four highest mobility weapons, for sure. I mean, there's no debating it. It's, I don't know what this test is. It's just, you know, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do the wisps for the, uh, the mists. <laughs> Alright, so this is how we're going to do the second test. We're going to start out at this little corner of the map, and our goal is to run all the way up here and zone into slow tree plane. As soon as we hit that loading screen, the timer stops. I'm going to start with our um, carving sword here, and we're going to pit it up against the double-bladed staff. Now, this is a twisting kind of racetrack. I'm going to zoom around this corner straight up and then kind of just straight up that way. And there will be mobs to punch and hit along the way with the carving sword, giving me that heroic charge speed boost. So that is what I'm going to try to do. All right, so I'm going to make sure that I'm mousing all the way to the left here. When my pixels change, that's when the timer officially begins. Three, two, one, and start. You 
in life. You torture Albion. You fear. And time. Okay, so we have the double-bladed staff now. We're facing this way. When the pixels change, that's when the timer begins. Let's get started here. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, so far so good. I think this one's a little bit easier because I don't have to like path out of the way to like hit mobs and stuff. I can just continuously run forward. I am having some mana problems, but uh, I don't know. Get that armor back up. Try to do our movement speeds. There we go. And that is time. Now it's time. Okay, cool. All right, this uh, this is pretty decisive. Okay, so uh, on the timeline on the top is our double bladed staff, and on the bottom is our carving sword. So what is the time differential here? Looks like 24, 24. Hold on, let's get frame perfect. Okay, 24, 18, and then. Let's see, that is, hold on, 2418 versus 2718. So it is a three second difference in that regard. So double bladed staff, double bladed staff is the winner. Uh, carving sword still pretty damn good, but double bladed staff is the champion. Um, yeah, that's just all there is to it. All right, fine, I'll test blood letter also. Here we go, we got the blood letter equipped, everything's good. Three, two, one, and begin. <laughs> this one, a uh, lot more actions per minute, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I, I think this one also feels very smooth, too. Go ahead and get that going. Get those cooldowns back. All right, I don't know if this is going to win or not, but um, I don't want it putting me in combat. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, Bloodletter versus Double Bladed once again. On the bottom of the timeline is the Double Bladed Staff. On the top is the Bloodletter. So that's 2418 and then 2512. So um, that's about like, what is that? Uh, <laughs> 0.54 uh, seconds or so. Or, or, or it's it's almost one whole second. It's all just rounded up. It's basically one second difference. So Double Bladed Staff, still the winner. So this is what the build is all about. You see these turbulent mists that unlocks in 28 seconds? We need to grab the wisp from it and then use our extreme mobility to rescue it so that we can get the rep. All right, and so we're gonna ride on over and hopefully no other player grabs it, because it is a, I am doing this in a yellow zone. I know it's a test realm, but uh, you would want to do this in black zones for the insane rewards that they're currently giving. If they don't fix it, it's the, gonna be the number one money maker in the game, essentially. All right, so when you turn these in in a black zone, you get, uh, like, I've only turned a few in, but I've been getting, hold on, wrong wrong window, Conqueror's Rewards, like 26,000 favor, you get this chest, you get a bunch of other stuff too. So we're going to go ahead and click the Wisp, and it tells you that you can't mount up while you escort it. This is why we need a high mobility ground build, this is the whole point. And now, for us, this was right next to the Wisp, so you, we only had to walk a screen away. Okay, but let's be honest, these things can be across the zone. Oh wait, maybe it's bugged. Yeah, it bugged out on me, wow. Okay, that's the first time that's happened, but um, normally this is pretty far away, so let's pretend that we're escorting it and there's other players around us. Let's see how far we can get. Uh, you know, just uh, spamming our abilities here, which is what we've been doing the entire game, right? And uh, we're running from players, we're escorting the Wisp, and yeah, we're really hard to catch. Remember, other players have to dismount on you, and then they have a dismount, you know, attack timer before they can actually do anything. But us? Well, we're hypermobile, so we're able to just traverse the zone at a pretty quick rate with this build. And, uh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, so we started up here. We're already kind of nearly halfway down the map now. And uh, we would be able to hopefully turn this in unless someone just follows us on their mount and then, um, you know, decides to attack us while we uh, rescue it. That would be a bummer. But we would be able to run away from them if that was the case. So there you go. That's uh, that's the whole point is an extreme mobility build so we can turn these suckers in. Uh, it's stupid that the portal bugged out, though. But hey, it's, uh, you know, it's not out yet. So they'll fix it. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Hopefully you learned something today. Uh, I had fun testing this, so now that I know Double Bladed is the highest mobility weapon in the game, bar none. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching videos every single day on this channel, and uh, I got more videos coming about the mists, how you can, uh, you know, maximize, you know, your gains in the mists and what you should do and how you should prepare for it and all that fun stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Videos every day. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. There's a video on screen right now. Click it. It's a really, really good one. And join the Discord. There's a link in the description if you want to play with me. Don't join it if you just want to hang out. Only join if you want to play with me. Anyway, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Take care. Mwah.